Uh, Marcus, I have a question. Um, so uh, if you if you have so you're, you're, you guys are a couple of years into NRIC, right? Uh, and Chris, yep. And, and Chris, okay. Yep. Um, if you had to do it over again, what would you do differently this time? <laughs> I should get you to talk to our uh, departmental people about that. They'd have a very long story. Um, look, I think my impression, and if I was asked to make a submission to the current review, I'd say that NCRIS as a concept is great. Um, I think the implementation of it needs care. Um, certainly some of the discipline areas, um, some of the discipline capabilities um, organised themselves very well very quickly. Uh, others did not, and that tells you something. Under PFC specifically, um, there have been a couple of um, really good successes. So I think NCI is working well, the computer infrastructure, the networking is mostly working well. I think the collaboration services program, um, which is a partnership of partnerships, um, that needed a lot more thought. Um, that was really, really difficult because you were bringing together organisations that had different imperatives um, and is you know, the, the way that's currently governed and does its planning is a problem. I think also both ARCS and the data service um, need to think more about that wholesale retail model. Um, they try and scale down to individual researchers, um, to delve inside institutions, and what happens, of course, is that they don't scale enough, which means that they, you know, leave more people out in the cold than they actually support. Um, and that's not a good look. So I think the, the whole scaling thing, and this is something I found even just inside one university, thinking about the scalability of the design of these programs is really important. Um, and one of the things that I think ANS, the data service, did better than ARCS was to focus on <clears throat> pardon me, value adding at the national framework level um, to run things, to only run things that make sense to run nationally um, and to stimulate the sector uh, one way or another to lift their capability to do things. Um, I, I think that's, that's probably the major area where I've seen problems and that, that comes back to the engagement to a large extent. Um, there are other individual issues that we've had. Um, so one thing I didn't talk about here is when you're investing in infrastructure there are services that are in common, you know, everybody needs a network, everybody needs a database, then you have discipline-specific shading on top of that, and then you have project-specific specific, uh, specific shading on top of that. Um, and that sort of three-tiered thing is something you have to put into your planning, where, again, the national frameworks do the national services in common. The discipline-specific stuff, there was an attempt by PFC under something called the National E-Research Architecture Task Force to fund the next generation, so to look sort of four or five years ahead and say, well, what do we expect researchers would want to try and do then? Let's look at some really leading edge activities. Um, and the way that program was implemented didn't think about that sort of services requirement. So it went very project specific early on where it shouldn't have really have gone much beyond the in common or the discipline services. Um, and so, so there's little subtle things like that. Similarly, the Australian Access Federation, like I said, we had three different goes at this, and that came down to a, a governance issue and an ownership issue. Um, and I think uh, a question uh, Helene uh, alluded to was, um, you know, in terms of running an Access Federation or, you know, being uh, the, the national uh, access providers, there's a management and there's an operations level, and they don't necessarily have to be in the same organisation. Um, being the operators is all fine and good, but if you're the management organisation, you've got to engage and you've got to care. Um, and so in Australia at the moment, we've, we, we had a couple of goes that just got it wrong, and we've now got it, I think, right that we've separated them. And the group that manages, manages it are the IT directors of the university because they understand the pressure, and the operational side will be given to some entity. It may be Arnet, it may be somebody else. Um, so it's, it's those boundary problems there. Is that useful? Yes, very useful. Anybody else have any questions? Go ahead. Jill, you look like you're... Oh, I have lots of questions going on. I all day, but I can follow up independently. Okay. Um, Marcus, thank you very, very much uh, for, uh, for 
taking time out of your Saturday morning. Uh, really appreciate it. So hopefully, uh, you know, we'll get our act together here. We'll, uh, we'll leapfrog you guys, and then I'll be happy to give you a presentation in three years' time on what we're doing in Canada. How's that? That would be great. <laughs> <laughs>